So Beethoven loved coffee. Did you know that? I've got my Starbucks coffee here. I'm sure Beethoven would have patronized the Starbucks around the corner if there were one in Vienna <laughs> when he was alive. Anyway, I remember reading that uh, when he was a young man, when he first moved to Vienna, that he kept a journal with all of his expenses, and there was one entry for him buying coffee for Haydn and himself. So Haydn, Franz Joseph Haydn, was the most uh, famous composer in the world at the time, and to a certain extent, Beethoven's mentor as well. So that's kind of interesting. I also read that Beethoven was very specific about the coffee he liked later on. He needed exactly 60 beans to grind up to make a cup of coffee. And so I decided I have some beans at home because I like to grind my, own, my beans when I make coffee at home. So I counted out 60, and that's how much 60 beans is. That's not much. It's actually about, it's a little more than a tablespoon. So maybe he had small cups of coffee because typically when I make a cup of coffee at home and it's maybe a 12 ounce cup, I use about uh, two and a half tablespoons of, of beans to do that. <laughs> Anywho, um, welcome to episode two of uh, Beethoven of the Ukulele. And uh, I did get a couple of uh, comments from people. Um, no questions so far, but I did get a couple of comments. Uh, a woman named Angela uh, gave me a comment on the YouTube and she said, uh, she said, uh, this is incredible. Looking forward to this journey with you. Well, thank you, Angela. I'm hoping you're going to join me on this whole journey while we um, transcribe the entire Sixth Symphony of Beethoven. And my friend uh, Kevin, I told him about what I was doing. And he said, um, I, I told him this is a very ambitious project. And he said, ambitious is an understatement. Uh, maybe this should be audacious or insane. <laughs> so I looked up those words. Um, so ambitious is intended to satisfy high aspirations and therefore difficult to achieve. And certainly I think this is going to be a difficult uh, thing for me to achieve, to learn the whole Beethoven symphony and play it and teach it to anybody who wants to learn it. Um, audacious is showing a willingness to take surprisingly bold risks. And I guess this is pretty risky because a lot of people might laugh at me for doing this because it's kind of insane. So that's the third word. So insane is a state of mind which prevents normal perception, behavior, or social interaction. Seriously mentally ill. Well, I don't know if I'm seriously mentally ill for doing this, but maybe. Um, another definition of insane is shocking or outrageous. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's shocking. Maybe it's outrageous. Maybe not. Um, maybe unable to think in a clear or sensible way. Yeah, if I'm going to play Beethoven on the ukulele, an entire symphony by Beethoven, that might be uh, not clear or not sensible. Um, another definition of insane is extremely unreasonable or stupid. So hope you don't think so. I don't think so. I'm enjoying it so far. All right, so this is the second episode of Beethoven of the Ukulele, and I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Also, subscribe to the channel is the best way to help you support what I'm doing here. And if you'd like, get on my email list so I can send you out a page of the score that I transcribed every week. All right, take care. Love you all. Bye.